Good morning and welcome to my channel and welcome to the first week of a new series, Timeless Memories of Vintage Hop. This is a hop that is hosted by Carmen, who is Elemental Designs, and Isabel, who is Crafting with Isabel Lavori here on YouTube. And I'm so excited about this hop. So this is a vintage hop and each week for the next five weeks, we will be doing projects with a vintage theme. So this week, our project was either a shadow box or um, an altered picture frame. And I chose to do a shadow box. So while we don't have any tutorials on this, so if you want to see me to do a tutorial on what I'm about to show you, uh, leave the comment below in the, in, in the comment section. So let me show you what I used. Um, <coughs> I used some of these vintage doilies that I got from Natasha Scrapbook Corner. And um, I had some of this vintage dangle lace that I used um, in my stash. And then I had some of this trim in white, but I wanted a vintage color, so I avocado dyed it. And I didn't leave it in there very long. It's just a very light pinkish color. And then I used some of these um, champagne kind of rosy uh, rose gold uh, flatback pearls and then I also used some of these vintage angel stickers that um, I got from Hobby Lobby uh, probably a year ago and then this was the jumping off point for my project this is a um, paper pad that I got from Created Home with G and it is by Doe Craft Paper Mania and it's Victorian Christmas and this is a beautiful paper pad. <clears throat> Excuse me guys. I'm trying my best. I've got a really bad cold and um, I have filmed this like three times because of the frog in my throat <laughs> But this was a very beautiful paper pad and um, I've had it for over a year and I use it very stingily because I can't get no more of it But it's just beautiful so um I wanted to do a shadow box, but I didn't have a shadow box per se. So what I did was to take one of the banks that um, some of us got from Dollar Tree, and I turned it into a um, shadow box. So let me show you my project. This is my project here. And I'm really sorry about the glare. But I'll show you what I did. So this was the box, and all, what I did was I took the glass and I took some pure acetone, and I was able to get all the printing off of it. And then I took some paint and um, gesso. And I gessoed my box first. It was black. And I gessoed it. And then I used these three colors. Whoops. I used um, the toasted vanilla. And this kind of has a yellowy tint to it. And I didn't use a lot of it. And then I used um, the linen. And this is a beautiful color for vintage. And then I went over and dry brushed some of the rose gold on here. And so that's how I came up with the colors on here. And then on the back, I used the same paper that's on the inside, but in a, uh, a sepia tone version of it. And I just went around and I put that on the back. And I went around with some distressed ink and distressed the edges of it. And then on the top, I used those vintage doilies on top to cover up where the little hole where the bank and stuff was. And then I used the champagne colored uh, flatback pearls in the middle of those. And then on the inside of the box, let's see if I can tilt it so you can see it. It's this beautiful paper in the background. And... Um, so I distressed the edges of it. Even though you can't see it, you can't see it when it's up close. And then um, I took the scraps of the paper that I had left and I cut images out of it to match the images on the paper. And then I uh, popped that up on foam and sort of created a decoupage look on the inside. And then I took the two angel stickers that I had and um, I stuck them on some vintage colored um, cardstock that I had. And then I cut them out and the word believe here. 
and um, then I double foam taped them up and then so I could pop them up so that you could see this and um, then I um, had these two little white Christmas trees that I got from my friend Gareth last year and <clears throat> I took some uh, Victorian velvet ink and I inked up the tips of the trees just kind of to give it a more vintagey look so that it wasn't clear white. And then I took a paintbrush and with the rose gold, I went inside and just dry brushed the tiniest little bit on the middle pole of the trees. And then um, on the front, this lace down here with the dangles on it is the same as this lace. On the bottom, I left the dangles on it. And on the top, I cut the little dangles off so that you can see inside the box. And then I used the avocado dyed trim here on the sides. So um, I'm just real pleased how this turned out. It's really, really cute. And um, I'm going to lift the camera up so you can see it better. Okay, so this is the finished product. And I'm trying to... Do my best not to get a glare in there, but it is glass, so it's not coming through. But um, I have a picture of it, and it'll be also on my Instagram. So I just thought it came out really, really, really pretty. Now, there are about 13 other participants in this hop, so, and all that information will be below in the description box. So please head over and check out their projects as well. Um... And like I said, if you would like to see a tutorial on how I did this, just leave me a comment below in the comment section. And also, <clears throat> um, I am giving away my projects, um, probably except for one. And if you would like to be entered into my projects, then you need to comment on each and every one of the videos for the next five weeks. And then also go to the other participants' videos and watch those and leave a comment too. And I'm not sure if anyone else is having to give it away, a giveaway, but I know I am. So thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you head over and watch all the other participants. And I'll be back next Sunday with a new project. And that project will be... Ha, huh, didn't give it away. You will have to come back and see. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next Sunday with another project from Timeless Memories of Vintage Hop. Bye-bye.